Hey guys, this is Kevin, and for today's Expat Philippines video, I wanted to share with you a few tips on beating the heat. If you visit or move to the Philippines, one of the first things you're going to notice is that it is probably significantly warmer than wherever you are coming from. Now, if you move there, let's say it's July or August here in the States, and you move to the Philippines, then you may not notice that much of a difference. But especially if you move there during some of the cooler months here in the States or wherever you're living, you move to the Philippines, it's definitely going to feel different. And you can look at me and tell that I'm not really built for the tropics. I am hot natured, I tend to perspire a lot. So I had to make some adjustments living there but if I can adjust to it, then uh, you probably can too. And uh, the first few things I'll mention, it's just uh, common, common sense, practical things. If you're going outside, you probably need to wear a hat, especially if you're bald, calvo like I am. Uh, or if, you're, if you want to, you can wear sunscreen. Uh, if you're going to the beach in the Philippines, uh, unless you're extremely dark-skinned, and even if you are dark-skinned, you're going to have to be very careful because the, the the UV is much stronger there. The ultraviolet light you receive going to the beach or going outside, it's a lot stronger than other countries where you're further from the equator. So wear a hat, use sunscreen, and stay hydrated. You probably did not need me to tell you those but uh, all three of those things you're going to need to do. Bottled water is uh, very inexpensive. You probably know this, but you cannot drink tap water or uh, anything with street ice in it. I may talk more about that in another video, but you, if you drink just tap water or if you're not careful about the ice that you drink, you can catch amoeba. Uh, I've had it before and it's not too fun, but Anyway, those are the three basic things. Uh, hats or sunscreens. Hat, sunscreen, stay hydrated. But I'll share with you a few other things that I kind of picked up on after living there that uh, you may or may not know, you know, coming in, going into this thing. Uh, one thing that I did is I, I tended to wear, this is actually a t-shirt that I bought in the Philippines. And uh, you may not be able to tell from the video, but it's very, very thin. So if I could find t-shirts that were strong but really thin, that helped. Uh, and one thing I also did is most of the time, not always, but most of the time, <clears throat> pardon me, I wore uh, white t-shirts. And the reason for that, it's twofold. One, of course, white tends to reflect the heat a little bit. But if I wore a kind of a... a a, a colored t-shirt that was of regular thickness, especially if I was going around outside, the problem is I would perspire and then, you know, it's immediately obvious you see where I'm sweating all through this t-shirt, whereas it's not nearly as obvious in white t-shirts. So I tended to wear white t-shirts a lot. Uh, here in the States, a lot of times I will wear an undershirt uh, under a t-shirt. Uh, they call it a sando in the Philippines, an, an undershirt. But uh, that didn't work in the Philippines at all. Like, you know, if you think, okay, here in the States, you think, okay, I'll wear a, an undershirt, and it'll if I sweat a little bit, then it'll absorb some of that. What I found in the Philippines is usually if I tried to wear an undershirt under like a t-shirt or a golf shirt, I would just sweat all that much more and sweat through the undershirt and then sweat into the... Uh, t-shirt or golf shirt and it was just it just made me you know a, a, a mess a sloppy mess uh, another thing that I did is I made the mistake and this is just for me personally but I made the mistake of bringing quite a few pairs of blue jeans with me to the Philippines because going into some environments you cannot wear shorts like I was going on to college campuses a lot and there are some environments, like going into a college campus or uh, if you're going to speak somewhere or just different things, where you cannot wear shorts. And if you have to wear long pants, what I found is that jeans were just too hot because they're too thick. 
So what I did is I switched from wearing jeans to wearing more cargo style pants because they tend to be thinner. And uh, that's what I did for speaking engagements or just some of my day-to-day -day things where I couldn't wear shorts. And uh, that helped me a lot too. Uh, a couple of more things that I will mention here. Bear with me, I'm looking at my notes. Uh, two more things, and these are tied into Filipino culture. Uh, one is you're probably going to find that you need to shower more than once a day on uh, most of the time. Filipinos shower usually at least twice a day. They're very meticulous about their hygiene and how they smell, which you will appreciate that, you know, if you have to if you have to use public transportation or get on a train or a bus and you're packed in with other people, you'll appreciate how clean Filipinos are as far as their personal hygiene goes. And if you move there, then you need to also follow that type of hygiene. If you you may say, well, okay, it's, it's the afternoon, I've been sweaty, but you just go over to your friend's house or something, and you may not realize it, but you've been sweating all day, and they may find that kind of uh, gross that you have not taken another shower. Or another thing I've noticed is that Filipinos, a lot of times, they'll take a shower in the morning before they go to work or whatever, and then when they get home, uh, before they go to bed, it's very common for them to take another shower. So uh, just keep that in mind. Do not be do not be skimpy on the water usage. Shower often. If you need to shower two or three times a day to keep yourself smelling nice, uh, do that. You need to do that. Uh, one final thing is handkerchiefs. Uh, I don't know of any other uh, expats that have talked about this, but. One thing you really need to keep in mind is that for a Filipino, if you have a sweaty face, they consider that uh, very gross. So you need to have a handkerchief with you at all times, and when you feel that your face is sweaty, you need to wipe it. Because otherwise, uh, again, for, for Filipinos, that, they, that strikes them as oily, it looks oily, or not hygienic if you're walking around with a sweaty face. And again, for me, that was uh, a little bit, not exactly strange, but it was it was an adjustment because I was thinking, well, of course, it's so hot. Of course, my face is going to be sweaty. But again, for them, they just consider it very gross. In fact, uh, it's not uncommon for Filipinos to put uh, baby powder on their face to keep it from sweating. So always have a handkerchief with you, with you if you're out and always wipe your face because otherwise it's going to be a distraction to the people that you're trying to talk with. So those are just a few steps for beating the heat and keeping yourself presentable in the Philippines in the tropical climate. Hope this video has helped and if you have any other questions or comments just leave them in the in the comment section below.